Alrighty, so just one thing before you start this thing, every time you take it out and you put fresh gas in it, never let the gas tank run out dry. Um, once it reaches this little bevel right here, I shut it off. I just put my finger on the gas tube or pinch the fuel line. Two, um, you're gonna need to plug the exhaust and pull on the pull cord about five times to force the fuel from the gas tank through the fuel line to the carb. Um, then you're gonna take your glow igniter you're going to stick it on. I kind of wait a second or two before I start yanking on it. And then with the pull start, you don't want to pull it more than about a foot away. Otherwise, you could snap the cord. Uh, there's just not that. They're designed for short strokes. So. Sometimes you don't need to prime it. Um, if you have a brand new engine and everything with all the fuel lines clean, it'll just kind of suck in there. Might take a few extra pulls, but it always starts. Another thing is, if you notice your truck starting to creep forward a little bit, you're gonna need to turn your throttle a little bit down on the remote. And you could kind of adjust the idle speed like that, right? Um, I'll kind of drive it around while I can film it. Oh no, it's kind of hard to film. I don't want to hit my leg or anything or have something like that happen. And it'll sit there idling for quite a while too, which is nice. Traxxas usually states if you can get it to about three to six seconds, that's usually what you want. If you can get it longer, it's a lot better. That even means when uh, your truck's freaking flipped over, um, it'll stay running for a little bit longer. And that's the whole idea of that whole long queue line. As you can tell, it idles nice, it runs a lot rich. I'm just having a tough time fine-tuning it in so you get max horsepower right now. And I've always kind of struggled with that. This can actually go on for quite a while. <laughs> How you engage reverse, and then this is the thing about this. You have to hit the A side, make sure the truck stops so you don't accidentally strip the gears out. Same thing with forward. Kind of show you with it in the video. And then you gotta push the button down like I am right now. And then it'll go forward. Then you can let it go, you don't have to hold it. But the key is is you have to hold it while you're in reverse. It's kind of like a safety feature, otherwise you'll strip it out. See, I didn't hold it there for an extra second. But you can also, once it's actually set in reverse, you can actually just leave it like that. 